miniature retro mystery boxes from Mini Brands. Now this mystery box has tiny furniture, decor, and just nostalgic packaging from what seems to be the 90s. It's funny because when we look at the boxes themselves, the actual font is very 70s, so I thought this was going to be very retro, but instead we are into the 90s. That is now, that is now retro. <laughs> we can see an old school Fruit Loops, we see a little cartridge film for cameras, we have a floppy disk, we have soup, we have batteries. And just look at the soup. It looks really cute. I don't think it's changed so much. Let's put it side by side. Kitty Editor from today's Campbell's Soup, Condensed Tomato, and this retro one. Let's see how different they are from each other. And here we have a person holding a retro mystery box. And if we zoom in a little bit more, it's a little hard to see because it's quite pixelated. We see different kinds of cereals. We have nail polish, I think. We have frozen moments. We have bazookas. We have different... Things. Now I'm curious if those packages have changed much. So what we're going to do is we're going to put today's version versus the retro version to see the difference in the packaging itself. And let's hope that we do get a super or ultra rare in today's unboxing. As you can see on my desk, I do have nine to unbox for today. So without further delay, let's see what we get. But also let me know which one do you hope that we get in the comments. And if you're new here, why haven't you subscribed yet? What are you waiting for? How much do I have to wave this at you? I'm just waving it. That's all. That's all. <laughs> all right, so let's just let's just move all the things over here. I, this desk, everything's gonna start rolling. These, since I started putting them on the desk, they've been just rolling everywhere. So I have a feeling. Yeah, there you go. No, no. Okay, stay. Now these were not cheap here in Canada. They cost about fifteen dollars each. So let's take out our cute kitty and kitty calculator with the kitty cat, and that's fifteen dollars plus fifteen percent tax times nine. Things are not cheap anymore. And the box itself does say unbox frozen moments. We have a box here with peanuts falling in. We have mini brands and then just retro. So there's not much going on in terms of the packaging itself. Let's get you open. Beautiful. And the inside looks like this. We get one, two, three, four, five minis. And of course we get the collector's guide and let's take a quick look. It looks like the super legendary ones are going to be frozen moments in either V8 tomato soup juice, tomato juice, beverage. <laughs> I don't like drinking tomatoes. Cornflakes or peanuts. Glow in the dark of batteries and I don't know what this is. It, oil treatment. Oil treatment. Okay. That's a little weird, but okay. And then we have some magazines, but these seem pretty retro. I feel like these could be from the 70s, but I'm not familiar with that. We also have luxury editions where we have Crayola. We have a golden Crayola tin, golden peanut butter, and a camera film thing. And then these items here, stationary, these two. For ultra rare, we have these ones. So it looks like we can get some, a lot of different ultra rares, okay. But interestingly enough, we have this one twice. So this might actually be a holographic item, but I guess we'll find out if we do get it. And then for the rare, we get everything from, again, peanuts, spam, soups, all the way to another Crayola can, which I really want to see. And this Crayola can might actually be way more retro than the 90s. And then for common, we have a weird variety of bananas, which I really, really want the bananas, drinks, and then lots of different kinds of makeup from Revlon. We have stationaries, batteries, and all the way to oil change. Okay, sure. I know many of your grains are like me and you open the fridge and you're like, what do I want to eat today? And there's almost nothing ready and I want things that are ready. But not only ready, we want something delicious and nutritionally balanced, which is why I'd love to talk about today's sponsor and one of my favorite products ever, Factor. But Jackie, what's Factor? Ah, I am glad you asked. Factor makes meeting your nutritional goals easier than ever before with never frozen dietitian approved meals that meet your goals. And from personal experience, since I've been using Factor way before they sponsored me, the meals are so delicious and they're so quick to make in as little as two minutes. Let's make one. First the chicken because it smells absolutely amazing. Wait. This 100% tastes like from a charcoal grill. What? And it's not dry. Mashed potato. Mmm. Well seasoned with barbecue sauce. I'm a sucker for corn. Mmm. Very fresh and cheesy. Green peas. Mm-hmm. Also cheesy. For sure a new favorite. 
And as I mentioned, when it comes to meals, we all love options, which is why Factor offers 35 meal choices every week, including Gourmet Plus, Keto, Protein Plus, Vegan, Vegetarian. So you'll always find something that you love that fits your lifestyle. And they don't just offer meals, they have 60 different types of add-ons from smoothies, midnight snacks, breakfasts, and so, so much, much more. more. And for someone like me who is a spoonie and some days are just way too difficult for me to do something physically, I know I can rely on my factor meal that is ready for me when I want something to eat. And because how easy and quick and convenient factor is, it keeps me sticking to my goals without even having to think about it. And the flexibility is great whether I want to add more meals on a specific delivery, fewer meals, or even skip a week if I don't need it. Oh, and did I mention I absolutely adore the app? It's just so easy to navigate and be like, what do I want? So why not start today with nutritionally balanced meals that help you stick to your goals and are absolutely delicious? By going to factor75.com or click the link in description box and use the code nerdycrafter50 to get 50% on your first box and 20% off your next month's order. That's code nerdycrafter50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month of orders. And of course, conveniently for you, here is a QR code. But as always, that link will be in description box as well as the pinned comment for your convenience. Thank you, Factor, for making amazing, delicious, balanced meals that I enjoy and for sponsoring a portion of today's video. All right, so let's go ahead and start with this one. It's pretty flat. And we are starting off our unboxing with... Oh my goodness! <gasps> Stop! Does it come out? Oh my goodness! We are getting a video cassette. Now, this is pretty old school. I know my dad still has one of these, I think. I'm not sure anymore. But these were basically what was before CDs. You would just put it inside a machine and it would play your movie. And there was even like a Disney club that would send you movies every month or something. So that's pretty cute. And of course, this is what they actually look like because here we're missing some details. This is a nice surprise. Let's see what it looks like in the back. So these are different recording times depending on, oh gosh, I remember that. I had forgotten what these things were. Completely forgot they existed, but that's cute. I feel like I'm going to age myself here. <laughs> Next we have, this is pretty round. Okay, we have Skippy Creamy Peanut Butter. Now this is the retro version and apparently here is the today version of the Skippy Peanut Butter side by side. And this is really just plain, my goodness. They didn't have a mascot back then. Can I open this? No, you cannot open this. Here's what the top looks like. I think Skippy has a mascot now. I could be wrong, but I thought there was a mascot of a squirrel. I could be wrong. Kitty editor will correct me. Next item is also a little rounded. And we have, oh, okay. Sliced pineapple by Dole. This is a cute little can. Again, here is the retro version and we're going to put the picture of the today version of the Dole sliced pineapple. Here's what the top of the can looks like. Here's the bottom. Let's turn it all the way around. Interesting. There's like no ingredients, no nutritional facts, nothing like that. That's, that's odd. Here is another flat type item. And you are, oh, Pez, what? So it is a box of, my goodness, what year is this? <gasps> Hang on, there must be a year. I really can't tell. Cause even if we zoom in a lot, we can't see the year that this can was from. But I feel like this could be the 50s, maybe? If we can find what year these packages were in, we're definitely going to put the year on top of them. Just so you have an idea how far the retro goes. But yeah, it says Pez makes you smile. And we have this girl on the front and over 50 rolls of candy and classic dispenser. Okay. And here's what the tin looks like. Again, Pez makes you smile. We have Pez over 50 rolls, same thing. And basically this is the back. We're gonna get a lot closer. And they show you how to use it. We have nutritional facts and all the different colors. This is cute. This one's pretty flat-ish. And oh, 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 we have our oil. <laughs> We have an Armor All. Is that oil? I think this is just a car cleaner. So here's what the retro version looks like. And we're going to put today's packaging color or well, the whole packaging spray bottle of Armor All right next to it so you can see the differences. And here's what the back looks like. So they're basically the same thing. Let's get a lot closer. It says protectant, protects and beautifies, vinyl, rubber and plastic. Save $2 now. $2? Save $2 for something retro and saving $2? That's a lot. $2 is a lot. Now you get lucky if you save 30 cents. <laughs> Am I complaining? A little bit. 
And interestingly enough, in this package, these two are the rare ones. All right, we have, oh gosh, these are stuck together. So one, two, three, four, and five. All right, let's start off with the flat one. This is really flat. Every time I say flat, it seems like it's flat, but this is actually pretty flat. And you are a magazine, okay. Wait, what? This is way older than, this is super vintage, super retro. November 1930 edition. This one is close to 100 years old in terms of the design. So it's Better Homes and Garden. I had no idea this was sold. 10 cents? What is 10 cents equivalent to today? We're gonna put that on the screen. So 10 cents back then is this much in today's money. And this is the design. You could see they love their yellows and greens and red. Things have personality. Today, everything's like beige and white. I don't like beige and white homes. <laughs> Not my style. And the back, unfortunately, they didn't actually bother to do anything here in the back. So this is what the front looks like. You are our first double. So we have another armor all. Another super flat item over here. This is, oh my gosh, this is really flat. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness, a floppy disk. This used to be before, before what? Before SD cards, before USB sticks. What else do we use nowadays? I feel like those are the two I use the most. Basically, you put very little information. You could probably put like one word document in there at best. Here's what it looks like in the back. And you kind of have to put it in the computer. Oh, this doesn't slide. This would have been great if this would slide. It's kind of like a fidget toy. So you just kind of put it inside your computer and then it reads it and you take the information. It hasn't really changed much. It's just the formats that have changed. A box, it seems. Oh, a retro camera. These were very popular in the 1990s. I think in the 80s too, they were disposable cameras. I don't think they exist today, or maybe they do. I think they do. A lot of people use them for parties and weddings. And the unfortunate thing about these cameras is if you take a picture, you can't preview it. Basically, all you're doing is you're taking a picture and hoping it was in focus and hoping that it was going to turn out okay and not fuzzy or too dark. So this is 35 millimeter camera, film all in one. So it's Kodak. Kodak was very popular. Can we take the camera out? Let's see if we can take the camera out. So here we have our box. Oh, can, oh, it does. Here's what it looks like in the back. And here's what it looks like in the front. Not very detailed, but it does have all these actual other tiny details. Okay, I didn't expect that. Definitely made to stay inside the box. And here is, oh, a Fruit Loops cereal box. This looks really vintage. I have a feeling this is probably from the 70s. So we're going to put a comparison with today's Fruit Loop box. And it's funny because throughout the years, this Fruit Loop got more intense in color and then now they've changed it back to less colorants, but they used to be way, way more vibrant. I think in the US, they still are way more colorful than the Canadian ones. But yeah, this is, this is what it looks like. And let's see the side and get closer. And here they're advertising their other products, which is Pop-Tarts. Here's the back. It says, catch the ring game, free inside. That's true. Cereal boxes used to have toys inside. Not anymore. I haven't seen any toys inside. That's so cute. Best in every bite. My goodness, super vibrant colors. And in this opening, this is the iconic one. And this is the ultra rare. And we have our five surprises. You are, oh, oh, turtle wax. This was really popular, I think in the 80s and 90s. It even became a joke in the Ninja Turtles series where they would talk about waxing their shells with turtle wax. And it's basically a car wax to make your car shiny. Here's what it looks like all the way around. It's actually quite small. Let's see if we can get closer. Feel free to pause if you ever do want to read the text. It's really tiny. I love the turtle in the top hat. It has sun stop technology, one year car wax. So it's, it's, I guess a little goes a long way. This one's really tiny. What could you be? And you are, oh my goodness, a little bazooka gum. So here we have a retro bubble gum, basically called bazooka. And it even has the little ingredients. And these used to come with tiny little comics called bazooka Joe, I think. 
I'm really trying to like go back into my memory. A lot of these things I don't necessarily know or remember because growing up in Egypt, we had a lot of vintage stuff. So sometimes I know more about movies from the 50s because they played movies from the 50s on Egyptian TV, even up until recently. So I have some, I have some dated information. <laughs> But here's an example on the screen of a Bazooka Joe comic. Feel free to pause and read. And if you're curious what the gum looks like, it was basically just pink with little, little indents on it, as you can see here on the screen. And then you are, oh, what is that? Hershey's Kisses. This box looks ancient. Milk chocolate. Okay, we're gonna put the Hershey's Kisses chocolate bar modern time now. So here they are side by side, so you can have an idea what it looks like. Here's what the box looks like from the side. Confections of quality, interesting. So that's what it looks like all the way around. It doesn't have much variety. So that's really interesting. It's interesting that they come in boxes because nowadays they're just in some kind of aluminum foil and a paper. So that's really interesting. I almost thought that was going to be Crayola, but I guess not. And here we have the Haribo. So this is a pack of gummies. It says gold, gold what? Baron. Oh, I guess gold bear. <laughs> so gold Baron, and it's a kind of squishy material. So there's definitely a piece of foam on the inside. And here's what the back looks like. Okay, again, really weird that we don't have any kind of nutritional information or ingredients in old packaging. Maybe they didn't have to do it. And here again is a side-by-side -side of today's Haribo packaging with gummy bears. Let me know if you prefer any of the ones we've seen and will see. Do you prefer the old school version or the new school version? This one's a bit longer. And we have, oh, what is that? Charlie, I have no clue what this is. I guess this is a perfume. I've never heard of Charlie before. Let me know if this was actually a popular perfume. Okay, so it is a common and it is from Revlon. I don't, I'm not sure, I, I, I've never seen this before, so this is new to me, but I mean, it looks cool. It is, it is definitely a, a perfume. <laughs> and in this unboxing, this is the ultra rare and the turtle wax is the rare. Next. And five items. First thing we have is, oh, what are you? I think this is another makeup thing. It says Love Pat Beige. Wonder if this opens. Can you? Am I just trying for nothing? I don't think this opens grains. No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think there's the illusion of it opening. So I'm going to guess this is some kind of blush. It's unfortunate. It looks like it can open, but it doesn't. And if it does, let me know. All right, this one seems pretty rectangular-ish. And you are a camera. So we've already seen this Kodak disposable camera. This is a squarish one. And you be, oh, another box of Fruit Loops. So we have a double for that one. I'm not too mad. These are pretty cute. This here feels like a can. And you are a can. Oh, this is not peanuts. These are cheese balls. I didn't even know planters made cheese balls and it's baked. I think cheese balls are kind of like Cheetos, except they're not long little <laughs> caterpillars. <laughs> These are just balls, cheese balls. And here's what it looks like all the way around. Here's the back. Let's get closer for the text. Very tiny indeed. It's a little hard to catch because it is really small. So it talks about delicious planters, their bags and their packaging and whatnot. And the bottom is nothing too special. And this one, I don't even know what it is. It just feels like a piece of paper. What is in here? What is that? What is that? I have no idea. Is this supposed to be lipstick? What's it say? Revlon. Okay, it says Revlon. And um, maybe it's mascara. I don't know. I'm pretty allergic to makeup. And growing up, I didn't put any makeup either. So this is probably makeup of some sort. Let me know in the comments. Clearly it does say Revlon. And we have our five surprises. We have, first one here, is a Fresca. What? I didn't know Fresca was that old. So Fresca is a drink that has a kind of pumple mouse flavor. Give me a second, I forgot the English word. It's not pumple mouse. Grapefruit. I'm basically saying the French word in English, pumple mousse. 
but yeah, it's a uh, grapefruit. And here is today's packaging for the Fresca side by side with the vintage one. Here's what the top looks like, basically like a drink can. And you can see it just looks very much so like a vintage drink. I feel like this bottle is likely from the 50s. It's just very plain. I don't know the year, but again, we're gonna put everything on the screen for you. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, what? This is way smaller than expected. This is a tiny Kodak film. And basically this is used to put inside cameras in order to take pictures. And then once you take pictures, they basically look like this and then you have to send them to get developed, which is quite the process. It used to take like seven days, I think, to develop pictures. Now it's basically instant but we got a golden one. And that one is part of the luxury edition. But this is way smaller than I expected. So here's my fingernail, or if you want my thumbnail. And comparatively to the Fresca, it's much tinier. And this is super cute, really, really tiny. And it's an 800 ISO. So I think it's supposed to be made for dark lighting. At least that's what I think. Because when I put my camera at 800, it's basically better for darkness. You are pretty squishy. Oh, what is this? We have Dum Dum Pops. So it looks like it's some kind of candy. And I only know Dum Dum because of the Night at a Museum movie, where they said I need Dum Dum Gum Gum, something like that. Dum Dum. Yes? You give me Gum Gum. I give you Gum Gum. And there's a piece of foam on the inside. Again, really tiny, hard to see any of the writings. Yeah, it just, it looks, it looks normal. It doesn't look too vintage. You are. Oh, we have a tiny notebook. And it's actually a notebook? Stop. I didn't expect it to be actual stationery. So we have wide ruled composition book. I really love this vintage look. I actually have a case for my tablet that looks exactly like this. Very cute, I like that. I keep saying very cute, but I mean, small things are usually pretty cute. And here is a battery, right? It says nine lives, ever ready. This is going to be an interesting before and after. So here is what today ever ready looks like side by side. It's a completely different look in terms of the battery. And if we look closer, it says nine lives bounces back for extra life, recovers powers between uses. I wonder how true that is or if it's just fake marketing. Here's what it looks like on the side and the back and the other side. And this is what the top looks like. And I'm going to guess that we can take the battery out perhaps. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, yeah, it just looks like a battery without any kind of wrapping, basically. <laughs> and five items. And the first item, hello. <laughs> Why is this not opening? Oh my good, that is, that is tiny. Can, can you come out? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, there you go. Oh no, you are not running away. This is Mentos. I feel like Mentos hasn't changed that much. And this is such basic packaging, but okay. It's really hard to see. Very thin and very long. I didn't even know we could get Mentos, to be honest. Where is it? Okay, there it is. It's in common. I still want those bananas though. I still want those bananas. Here is our third double. Okay, we have Armor All. Surprisingly, we're not getting that many doubles. I don't wanna jinx it. I probably just did, didn't I? This feels empty. I don't feel anything at all in here. Oh, that's because I already opened this. <laughs> this is the already opened package, okay. Of course, I'm goofy. <laughs> you are, okay. Of course they jinxed it. We have another tiny notebook. Little planner on the inside here, pretty cute. Something a little bit more rounded. And it is a car thing, oil treatment. STP super concentrated oil treatment. Now I don't know what this is supposed to look like today, but here it is side by side with a modern day version of STP oil treatment. Again, I'm always curious to know whether you like the old school or newer version. Here's what the back looks like. The text is very, very not legible. Just not legible at all. Front is okay. Here's what the top looks like and the bottom. And this feels like something chonky, pretty big, very, a lot of air in there. What are you? And you are peanuts. So we have the planters cocktail peanuts. 
Here's what the top looks like. So we have brand, the name of quality. Here's the bottom. And this one has definitely changed. Let's go ahead and put the side-by-side -side of the planter's cocktail and peanuts so you can see how much they have changed. I feel like we have more colors nowadays, but I could be wrong. I haven't eaten planters in a long time. And our five surprises. Oh, that one's chunky, I think. No, maybe not. Okay, yeah, this one is pretty chunky. So let's see what it is. Oh, oh. <gasps> what? We got a frozen moment? Oh my god. And basically, this is telling us how to put it together. It seems pretty straightforward. So we have the old school Frosted Flakes cereal. And so this is an old school kind of cereal. Let's see what the box looks like today for Frosted Flakes. It's a huge difference. The mascot has gone under a lot of changes as well. And this is what the inside looks like. Okay. Here's what the back looks like. My goodness, it says, win $5 a week allowance for a whole year. That made you rich. I don't know what year this box is from, but we would have put it on the screen. And feel free to pause if you want to read any of this retro stuff. Again, here it is. We have all the different kinds of mascots down here. Here would it look like on the side. Again, super tiny text. I'm gonna try and get as close as possible. And again, feel free to pause to read. There's donations and things like that. And then here we have a little coupon. Really cool message over here as well. And we're supposed to put this, oh gosh, how do I just like a so? Okay. And then we're supposed to put this in here. Voila, oh my goodness. That is adorable. I really didn't think we were going to get a super ultra rare, but what do they call it? A legendary. How cute is that? I am in love with this. You can just look at it, it's cute. I love things that just look like frozen moments. We've been getting pretty lucky lately with the mini brands. If you do want to see us get lucky again, I will put the previous video. Yes, we got our hands on the KFC mini brands edition. So make sure you watch it after this one. You are... A, another box of Fruit Loops. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Another rectangular type item, and it is okay. We have another Hershey Kisses box of chocolate. This one's a little bit more elongated, so it could be a can, and it is indeed a can of Planters Cheese Balls. So we are getting quite a few doubles and triples at this point, which to be honest is not too bad considering how far we got. I already know what this item is because we've already gotten it, and it is a very inconvenient unboxing. We have another of the Mentos. I really want my bananas. I really do. I feel like we got a gold, we got a frozen moment. I need a banana. <laughs> That's what I need. Why is this breaking? Why aren't you opening? Okay, we're just gonna go a little savage mode here. I really want my bananas. I don't know how bananas are retro, but I guess, I guess they are. This one's well. And we have our five surprises. And I'd love to see anything Crayola. Ideally, we are getting to, well, close to the end and I haven't seen the Crayola ones. And here we have a Kodak camera. This feels like it could be a magazine and it is a magazine. And out of all the magazines we could have gotten, we got a double of the same one. Obviously it's, it's a double, it's the same one, Jackie. Well, very logical. This one's a bit chunk. It could be a can and it is a can. Another one of the oil treatments. The thing with the oil treatments is we have to check if it is glow in the dark. So let's stay tuned to the end and check if any of them are indeed glow in the dark. Another flat item, but it is a floppy disk. This one's a common item. I'm surprised we didn't get it more than we did. This feels like another box. I, I have to guess it's going to be a Pez. No, it is a box of cereal frosted flakes. It's still crazy that it's a $5 allowance for a whole year. And I'm not sure what year this box was. We're gonna put that on screen again. And $5 of the time is equal to this much today, every week. Please give me a banana. And what do we have? There's a chunky item here. So we're gonna keep that to last because this could be a banana. It's really chunky. But over here, we have, what are you? Okay, our first can of 
spam. I feel like spam is pretty international. Let's get closer. This is really, really tiny. Here's what the text shows. And here's the detail in the back. Let's turn it on the side. And in case you're curious, here it is now. The side by side of spam for today. I feel like it's done minimal, <laughs> minimal effort in terms of the changes. I don't know what this could be. Come on, Crayola. Come on. No, this is a Pez. I feel like all of these are pretty retro. I would have loved to see a licensed Pez, but this is what we have. We have this little character and then we have three candies. And here's what the back looks like. Let's get a little closer. Really tiny writing. You have to squint so hard to see anything, if at all. But here's the close up. We have a mega flat item, so it's gotta be a floppy disk. Yes, it is indeed the floppy disk. And I have no idea what this is. It feels a little different. What are you? Oh my goodness. We have our first Energizer tiny battery packs. Here's what it looks like. Doesn't look too retro to me. I think this might actually be a glow in the dark, but here is the today package side by side with it. We're definitely going to be testing out the glow in the darks right after the last package. And then let's check out our super chunky package. Look how big this is. I can't, I don't know what this is. What? <gasps> My bananas! Stop! I actually get my bananas! The woman was too stunned to speak. In the previous unboxings, I didn't get my ketchup chicken nuggets. But today, we got my bananas! That's awesome. It's just, it's just a chunk of bananas. Can I open you? I don't want to ruin this. Look at that! And there is one Dole sticker. <laughs> on the just one one dole sticker on the banana now i'm pretty sure the logo for dole is very different nowadays i think it's blue but we're just going to put the logo new one here on the right so you can compare before and after just to have an idea it is an old school brand container shipped so we have premium pack of bananas i didn't know oh product of honduras okay and this is basically what it looks like we get we get my bananas excellent i love this and the funny and weird thing for me is that it is a common. It is a common and yet it was really hard to find. We got more of the cereal, which is a ultra rare, and we still didn't get a Crayola. But this set is pretty cute, it's pretty nostalgic, and also interesting to see the differences in old school and new school. But let's check our glow-in-the-darks. So here these are. Here these are. Here they are. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn the lights off. All right, so y'all can't see, but I do have one of the first oil ones in my hand and it seems like nothing is happening. And the next one, okay, this one is definitely a glow in the dark. It's very faint, but it is there. You can see the difference between the non-glow and the glow. And for the Energizer battery, it looks like it is not a glow in the dark. So we did get one at least. Let me know your thoughts on this set. If you want to watch more unboxings, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch something crafty, make sure you check over here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.